when did you begin to sense, Patrick, that something special could happen on this team? Um, we had a little stretch there where at the beginning of the season where things weren't going our way. We, we weren't playing good baseball. We had we had a lot of injuries. I mean, the whole top of our lineup was hurt. And uh, I, I knew from spring training we played well. We had players that that were good enough to win. We had we had a lot of veterans in that clubhouse, some young players that were good. That something's got to turn around. We're just too good. And um, like we signed a couple guys and started playing better and and, and got healthy and. Um, we, we said from that moment, if we can just get into the playoffs, we could be very dangerous. So there wasn't really one moment or one stretch in a season where you started looking around and saying, okay, we're, we have a, we're arriving right now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think after that, that start where we were 19 and 31, uh, we, we played the best baseball in the MLB. So, um, there was a stretch in there where, where we felt things were changing. Uh, we knew our goal was to, to get a couple games over 500 around the all-star break, and uh, we we felt the momentum after that, and time just rolled with it. Patrick, I gave you two chances for you to say the words baby shark, and you didn't. I gave uh, you two uh, shots right there. <laughs> with Parr, I mean, I, I played with Parr in Arizona. I mean, he was obviously a huge uh, piece for us to loosen things up, bring some, some energy in a dugout, and um, he was he was for sure a, a huge piece for us. Um, he came in when we did have injuries. He stepped right in, played played center field for us, um, hit really well, and um, just brought the energy. <laughs> what was the reaction though? The first time, did everyone know that he was going to have Baby Shark played as his walk up song <laughs> when he switched to that? Was that aware? Was that already your your clubhouse already aware of that? Um, no, we had no idea until the first time it went on. I think one of his kids. We we'll loved the song, and I mean, every kid does, I guess. Sure. But they were just like, let's roll with it. So they started playing it, and then you just see the reaction of the fans, and um, they're all doing it, and then it just kind of built up after that. And I think people were just coming in games to see him pinch hit late. <laughs> I know, I, I, I know, but there was no sense in the in the dugout, like as he came back in after that at bat, saying, "What the hell was that?" <laughs> Nothing. We were laughing probably for sure. I okay. mean, it, it definitely caught on really quick, though. At, even after the first one, it was like, what was this? And fans got into it right away. And then it was pretty neat in the postseason when, when you saw a packed stadium, everyone doing it. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.